Okay, let's have a look for you now, Aquarius. That's you guys over here. This is Terra Illumination, and it's your January 29 Astro Doodles. It's just all about the Astro Doodles here. We'll do some cards later, okay? Don't worry. All right, let's have a look. <clears throat> just want to point out some key dates here for the month. This is for everybody, so just mark your calendar. Uh, all planets are direct just after the new moon, January 7th. So it might feel like you're in a rushing river, okay? Things moving quickly, going forward as though there's never any problems or blockages in life. Just be careful, it's like riding the rapids, okay? Uh, we have the new moon eclipse, January the 5th, okay? It's a lot of Capricorn energy, uh, so please mark that. It's going to you know, affect everybody some way, somehow or other. We'll see in a moment. Mars is in Aries all month, stirring things up in that house. Capricorn, big fat stellium there along with that eclipse. Venus is in Sagittarius, uh, January 7th onward, along with Jupiter. Very, very sweet. Uh, let's have a look. We've got the full moon lunar eclipse, January 20th. Okay, Sun in Aquarius, Moon in Leo. And we've got Sun entering into Aquarius basically the same day. So it's a really tight, we're really on these like zero points here, January 20th. So the key dates to watch out for early in the month, around the 5th and the 7th, then the big crescendo from the eclipses uh, up to the next eclipse, January 20th. So January is a very powerful, dynamic month for everybody. All right, let's go to you, Aquarius. <clears throat> Give me a moment here. Thank you. So this is a Terra Illumination Astro Doodle. It might look like gibberish to you guys, but uh, we use these things here for notes when we do personal readings and things. And I just cherry pick the stuff that jumps out at me. So for you, Aquarius, you know, well, the big news is the eclipse, okay? So you, you, Aquarius and Leo, you've been dealing with these eclipses for so long now, like over a year, and it's been really tough on a lot of Leos and Aquarians because of this. And you had all that Leo North Node stuff and everything. So anyway, this is the last of it, the last of the last of it for another almost 20 years. So that's the thing that really jumps out to Terra Illumination. The sun enters Aquarius January 20th over here in your first house of you, yourself. Now, it is like it's a full moon, so we've already been building up to it. So what you might discover about yourself would primarily come back to you through reflection from a significant other over here. Because with the full moon lunar eclipse January 20th, the same day, basically, the, uh, the, uh, the moon is in Leo. Your seventh house of, you know, opposite. You know, they call it the house of marriage or the house of open enemies. You can reinterpret that however you want. Okay. <clears throat> so, you know, with eclipses, things come to a crescendo. Uh, they tend to be like portals, gateways, where whatever was is gone and whatever is coming is on its way. And you go through like this revolving door and you never go back. And eclipses have that kind of triggering effect on things. So please allow for quite a, a ride this month, Aquarius. Now, early in the month, we still have this energy over here, Venus and Sagittarius uh, with Jupiter in your 11th house. So that might be very sweet for you because that's your kind of turf anyway. You know, uh, the Aquarius, ru Aquarius rules the 11th house here. So you might really start to feel much more in tune with who you are in society, in this world, your place in this world in a much sweeter, more loving way, how you are much more loved and how more opportunities are opening up for you in community, in the Aquarius classic sense, uh, very selfless kind of energy uh, and putting like the, the, the importance of what is good for the community ahead of the self. <clears throat> We do have the new moon solar eclipse over here in Capricorn. It's a huge stellium, okay? January the 5th. It's been building up, and this is actually on the nodal axis. I didn't really put it there because it's... I'm, I'm not focusing on that much right now. So you've got this stellium of Sun, Moon, Mercury, Saturn, and Pluto all piling up in your 12th house of self-undoing, of hidden enemies, of the divine, of your direct connection with heaven. What I want to do is I'm going to try and hold this very still so that if you want to, you can pause and read this stuff, okay? I'll try and use my other hand. <clears throat> so early in the month, okay, with this 
new moon solar eclipse over here, think of that as a gateway opening up that 12th house where we, with tarot illumination, because we're so involved with healing here, you have to reveal it to heal it. So if you are being like blown away, starkly blown away with what has been so hidden for so long, fossilized, like deep archaeologically buried remnants, obsolete stuff that is uh, disempowering you, it's going to be a, a, a time for awakening here, uh, blowing blowing things open and doors opening to what is like new, like new layers of archaeology that need to be explored and delved into in order so that you can learn much more about how you can be your own worst enemy or how you allow others to be your own worst enemy and so that you can reveal all that stuff for healing, okay? It's very, very important for your own personal healing journey and getting closer and closer to uh, divinity, so to speak. The real action, of course, is the eclipse uh, on your axis of relationship. So please be prepared by the end of the month for some shockers, some awakenings, maybe dazzling and beautiful, maybe uh, completely unexpected. Uh, just please allow for it, okay? And it's all coming to a crescendo. And then ba basically what, ap what happens after that is like, okay, well, what do I do now? Oh my gosh, what do I do now? I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to stretch this anymore. If you need personal readings and things, uh, you know where to go. Check out all the links below and the buttons and the subscribes and the, you know, the membership and the First Friday healings and all that. We just reference these when we do those type of one-on-one -on -one deals, okay? So thank you very much, Aquarius, and have a super January 2019. There we go. Okay, there we go. Well done.